What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Chris, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm just putting away the snacks, man. Oh, restocking? Yeah. Best chief sack officer anybody could ever ask for. Let me tell you guys, check out the back seat of the truck over here. We just went and did a little bit of shopping. Got us some snacks, all snacks, all snacks. Went, went a little light this time. It's true, it's true. Now while Chris takes care of our snack needs over there, we've got Zach working on the new 6.0 that we got. You guys remember, this thing's got a very common 6.0. Well, all right, we're gonna hope it's one of the common 6.0 problems and it's not something greater than what Zach thinks it is. I don't wash this one either. How much you want for this one? Uh, I'm buying all your work trucks, all your old work trucks. This, you, this, one, this one's a little bit more expensive. Do you miss the 6.0? No. No. But I was telling Zach, you need a flatbed aid. Where's Dixie? Oh, there's Dixie. Hi, baby. What's up, girl? I know, but I'm gonna shit with her. Oh, yo. Hey, yo. You just want the camera. That's not a toy. So, Zach got the old 6.0 all cleaned up. And, uh, you know, I totally explained what's going on, but we'll let Zach do it. Uh, Zach's getting, you know, real good in front of the camera. So, uh, hey, Zach, what's going on, buddy? Um, breaking stuff. I mean, I didn't break it, but. Oh. If you, if you noticed the mess. I, I did notice the mess. Yeah. I thought Dedek had left the shop. Yeah. The ghost See, of I, didn't, I didn't do it on purpose like uh, he does. <laughs> I need an oil change. I'm just going to dump it right here. Yeah, legitimately. <laughs> I put a shirt on it. So what are we doing, buddy? Uh, we are checking the stand pipes and dummy plugs right now. So that's a uh, very usually common right issue here. Actually, I'm pretty sure we have an issue on this one. We got an issue? So if you see, these are the old design, which it's just an O-ring. And what happens is that happens. Let's see how the... Here. Let's get, Let's get some light. Getting some better light here. Alright. See how the o-ring is definitely not an o-ring? Yeah. See how it's eaten? What that is, is it's the pressure coming through the rail and blowing through the o-ring. And it's like uh, basically water jetting the o-ring out. Okay. Um, or, you know, using high pressure nozzle. And it deforms the o-ring and it, it creates a leak because this is no longer sealing. So when the truck's cold, you know, 1540 is pretty thick you know, at 32 degrees or 70 degrees. Now, when it gets to 170 degrees, it's uh, a lot thinner. And what happens is, is the pump at cranking, it doesn't have enough RPM to fill the injectors fast enough to tell the PCM that it has oil pressure to start the truck. Gotcha. Um, so that's why when we hit it with ether, it cranked the motor fast enough that it pushed the oil up there, told the sensor that it had pressure, and then it started firing the injector. The 7.3s do the same thing sometimes, or the DT444Es, uh, um, the seals will go out and they'll start fine cold. You drive them, go to start them again, they don't start. You ether them, they fire them back up, they run great. You know, well, not great, but you can't really tell on a stock, you know, stock tune truck to begin with. So good news is Zach's already ordered the new one. I do, I have, I have the updated ones. I think they're on the seat. This thing's sketchy. You stand on this thing? I don't trust this tire stand thing. Here are the updated ones. They not only have the o-ring but they have this little nylon ring and as you can tell it pushed the o-ring out so what the nylon ring does is when it sits in there it just it helps hold the pressure a little bit better and uh in theory helps the o-ring not get deformed um, gotcha. which ultimately causes this and it's a known 6-0 problem it's unfortunately the, the design of having a universal oil rail um, so One's a big standpipe, which is on the back of the head that feeds the oil up into the oil rail to run the injectors. And then this is the plug because it's got two. So no matter what side of the head you have, you can run the same part. So you're not left and right. The heads are the same. They're just spun around. So that's why they call it a dummy plug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Am I certified Well, it yet? depends on who you talk to. Oh, in the industry, it. these are standpipes. Um, you talk to Ford, they're oil feed tubes. Okay. There's well, but the dummy plug's right. Is it a dummy yeah, plug across the board? They're just dummy plugs. Dummy plugs. Yeah. For a dummy. So we found a issue. That's probably the only thing. But since I'm there, I'm going to do them all. That's the spirit. Whole new oil pressure system rail stuff. Yeah. The good news is, well, hopefully the good news is, if that's like the issue with the truck, we just made out pretty good. Obviously, this truck is going to get bulletproof. I know there's 10,000 comments that say we need to bulletproof it. We know. Trust me, I don't feel safe driving a non-bulletproofed 6 up. We're going to get it running, drive it for a minute or two here. Um, assuming there's no other issues, well, we'll get the stuff and we'll bulletproof it. If there is a bigger issue and Zach's got to delve deeper, then at that point we know we'll bulletproof it because he's already going to have the whole thing apart. Yeah, well, that's where we were at is 
uh, basically kind of kind of need the truck out of the shop and um, need it to be on the street for you know California smog reasons and, and whatnot because uh, Ryan still has to register it <laughs> and it yeah. won't pass because when you unplug the glow plug harness to put ether in it it throws check into line yeah. so. so yeah this truck isn't registered yet um, I think I have 10 days I don't know well, timeline of this video is probably not gonna make sense but we're still within that 10-day window um, otherwise I get fine. We're gonna get this one out of the shop mainly because we got a ton of projects that are coming into the shop here. So this thing gotta go and start getting to work and making some money because you know right now it's costing money. So Zach got one side done tonight. Um, we're gonna call it quits though. It's been a long day already. But tomorrow, tomorrow we're starting on some cool stuff guys. So we'll see you in the morning. So today's gonna be a super hectic and busy day. And there's a big reason like we're pushing so hard to get the uh, 6.0 up and running to where it'll reliably start. I mean, it runs just fine. It's just obviously the, the hot start issue, we'll call it. So we'll get that knocked out today. And the reason being is we're gonna be swapping the 6.0 with Papa Rhino's truck. I mean, it's one of the reasons I bought that truck was to give him something to drive while we start tearing apart the 450 for that build. Then um, we've got the Tahoe here, which has been uh, unfortunately not touched in a long time. If you guys remember uh, with four wheel parts, they accidentally sent us the wrong wheels and those wheels were for a Ford, not for a Chevy or GM. And then of course they were back ordered. So we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for the wheels to come in. Um, unfortunately they're not here. But in the meantime, I have since sold the set that's on here. So the guy's driving like eight or nine hours today to pick up the 26s that are on the Tahoe. I don't know if the lighting's good there. Let's try the other side. The 26s that are on the Tahoe. And well, I don't have stock wheels to put this thing back onto because I also sold those. So this is gonna be sitting on jack stands here in the driveway um, until we get the four wheel parts wheels to go on it. And then we're gonna move my trailer here. Papa Rhino's truck is gonna sit right next to it completely stripped apart. Should get interesting today. We'll get the Denali fired up though so we can move her out of the way. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we've also got two 2021 GMCs that are gonna be at our shop. Well, one's already at our shop. Uh, we got another one coming down today to get some work done too, so. Very, very, very busy days ahead of us. So we got the Denali and the trailer out of the way here to make room for Papa Rhino's truck. And because it's been a minute since we fired up the old fire truck, let's kick her on here. Ignition on. <laughs> love this thing, absolutely love this thing. For those of you that are wondering why it's not out at the ranch, why we weren't using it for the gate project is our water truck. I haven't used this thing yet. I still need to figure out how to use it. It only holds 750 gallons, which is not ideal. Um, I know James's water trailer holds more than that. So it will be out at the ranch eventually. I don't want to just leave it out in the open. Critters are going to get up in it. I know somebody's like, oh my God, there's no way a rat could get in that thing and eat it. But yeah, there's a decent amount of wiring and stuff in this thing. so. I'd rather not just leave it out in an open field and rats getting it and then the time I need it, it's dead. I will say one thing though, for as dirty as the Tahoe is sitting outside here, that McGoy's lip kiss still looking absolutely beautiful. All right, Zach is here. What's up, buddy? Oh, we brought that three times. We got three more of those, we'll just put those on the Tahoe. Oh, hold on, we got the donut. Now we need two more. Dang, man, how much does snap-on bag cost? It's free if you buy enough tools. <laughs> Actually, so $35,000. So we picked up a couple of new jack stands, being that we didn't want to take the ones that we got at the shop from the shop. We got two, four, six, and then I got one. Ten. <laughs> yeah. Nine. Tractor Supply only had one six ton today, so we got one. Why do you, how do you have one jack stand? They come in a set. Nah, that Tractor Supply. Biggest complaint on their website is they only come with one. All right, Zach, I'm certified in jacking stuff. <laughs> yeah, sometimes things you say sound right, sometimes they don't. That was one. That was one. We'll miss these 26s. This thing actually looked pretty cool when it was lowered on the McGoy's uh, lowering kit with the 26s from Status Wheels on there. The thing I liked is it was still four wheel drive. Like, yeah. So like if you're at the snow on the lower Tahoe, you're like all four of them. Stand. <laughs> it is time though. This thing gets the off road look that we originally intended with this thing. Um, again, we built this for SEMA. Uh, what was it two years ago now? Because I guess they canceled last year. It was built for SEMA. Anzo wanted a lowered street looking Tahoe. So that's why we did it that way. The original intention with this thing was to lift it. So now she's on the McGoy's lift kit. Hopefully soon. I did just talk to Foil Parts today. They're checking to see if our uh, wheels have gotten here. And hopefully she'll be on some uh, off road wheels and tires. Oh, yeah. Okay. One side. Yeah. All right, next side's coming off. Perfect timing. Papa Rhino just showing up with the 450. All right, so we lowered her down a little bit. She's not quite as high. Oh, that's a lot. Feel, feel safer? Yeah. 
before she was a little wiggly don't don't walk by it too fast <laughs> all right well it looks like we got robbed but with classy bandits they use jack stands not cinder blocks don't try this at home if they're ever not flat and you're already done just give them a little because what happens is if it's sitting up crooked you pop it back in and she locks in yeah we'll go we'll, we'll, go, all, we'll go with locks in you want all corners to be on the ground no matter <laughs> yeah. what project one done now we can start tearing into the 450. One of the big things on this truck is obviously, well, you've seen all of my trucks. Um, the LOI being no exception here is, I like my stuff color matched. I'm not a big chrome guy. I think chrome and brushed, oh, well, not brushed. I'm a, I'm a brushed fan, but this is like a weird. What's wrong with white and shiny, man? White and shiny? What's, what's wrong with white and shiny? Listen, in the era of that truck, chrome was great there's not really not that much chrome on the truck it's just polished okay but every old man that owns a truck like that's gonna walk up and be like nice chrome rims you got there uh, you call them rims we're not friends that's what the old guys are gonna say for us we know that's polished but regardless regardless on the old 450 here I've never been a fan of these satiny not quite chrome not brushed uh, yeah, place they like put on there in the, in the middle of all the way and halfway yeah I'm not a fan of that so one of the big things we're gonna be changing is obviously this is gonna get pulled off um, we're gonna do some color matching here, some little cool details on that. Pulling off the door handles because plasticky crumbs, not good in my book. Pulling off the mirrors, these are gonna get color matched. The 450 badge is gonna get color matched. Those are gonna come off and we'll probably just buy new ones of those because there's no point in fighting those stupid little things and resticking them back on. Then coming around to the front end, we're gonna be pulling off the grill and thankfully on the Platinum here, the bumper's already color matched so you don't really have to touch any of that. Grill, emblems, side badges, mirrors, Handles, tailgate plate, all that's coming off today. Starting with the grill? Um, yes. <laughs> you think I can handle the door handles? Yeah, and if you break them, it's just Okay. I hate door handles. Especially when I saw on my Denali's how oh, you gotta like, no, no so you just loosen the screw and then you go, pop. Yeah, and like, you're like, eee. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'll let you do that. They're kind of like the same, but they're really not. You can actually see what I'm talking about right here through the side. So this clip and that clip, you gotta spread it and like, the covers just pop off. This clip? No, the ins this these little tangs right here. The tangs? It's got some tangs. See right there where my fingers at? The yeah. Middle. So you spread them, pops off. Oh, oh geez. Oh, this. Oh. <laughs> There's one. I just cringed that whole way through. More so about like breaking this you ain't cheap break plastic that. You'll door. You'll break this before you'll break this. You think so? Yeah. That's what do the bottom and then. You gotta hold it and then it'll pop off. Okay, you know what? Hey, you do Come the on, grill. Master mechanic? Master, not quite. Uh -oh. Just barely certified. <laughs> yeah, we'll work to it. Give me another like but, six but month master. Have, but you have a YouTube channel. I thought you were certified. Everybody thinks that, you know? <laughs> Listen, I do construction to sell t shirts. <laughs> Zach's my mechanic, all right? I don't think it's any secret that I choose to not really work on vehicles. I, yeah. There's much yeah. better people than me out there to hey, do that. Hey, but you, every time you do, you know, you, you surprise me. You don't, you don't totally mess it up. And, and I tighten stuff. I'm yeah, like, get it. You definitely make sure it's tight. <laughs> Is that a separate clip down there? I chuck yeah, the it's, it's got yeah, so like a top and then it's got a bunch of little centers. So. Ooh, you got this, buddy. You got this. Okay, hold that side. <laughs> I hate clips with a passion. I'll break them all. Well, it's like if you don't if you don't start in the right spot, you go to pull and you snap the whole thing in half, and then yeah. you're like, oh, cool. All right, one part off. That part's off. We're making progress. There's two two of those plastic clips from here and here. Gotcha. Well, we're closer, buddy. We're closer. You sure are. Here's your grill. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. They got that little black piece. Next up, we gotta get the side badges off. Zach, how do these come off? Uh, I'm not too. I feel like there's. Oh. No. Feels like a clip. Let's see. Let's see what the camera says. I think you gotta go in further. And further we get blocked. Oh, oh, oh. I got a tag on there. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, what's funny is I can do this on other people's trucks all day long. No problem. It's like you're doing it on something you own. Nope. Well, and then they're the metal clips, too. You got this, buddy. You got this. You know what? Let's see. Uh -huh. 
I don't have my 90 degree pliers on me in the truck. Hey! It's still in one piece. All right, mirrors are off. Yeah, yeah, two of them. Oh, all two? Yeah. You didn't get the third one? Uh -uh. That's up front. We're gonna paint that too. That's a that's a that's a Chris deal. He likes oh, to break Chris breaks head. off the yeah. rear mirrors. So we got mirrors off, grill, side badging, lower part of the grill, the door handles. Last step is the platinum tailgate plate. Calling a quick little change of plans here. Um, I just talked to the homies over at Supreme Retros, and we figure if we're taking the truck this far apart. We might as well do the headlights and tail lights while we're at it. So, working on getting the headlights out right now, which is fun on this forge to get it out. Yeah. So, they got a super sweet little bolt that goes in the side of the headlight there that uh, they make really fun to get to, but oh. should just pull out now. You look pretty loose. Give him a yank, Zach. You, just, you hung up on this rubber. That's flat like the rest of the way. On top of the ledge now. No, there's. Yeah, there's no end bumpers gonna have to drop. All right, so we don't have time to do this right now. The guy's almost here. Get it? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh okay, well, Papa Rhino got it. Look at that. Get your credit, get your credit. All your followers, yeah, your subscribers, your fans. Yeah. Hold on, let's try something. That's a nice shirt, where'd you get it? Uh, uh work for it. <laughs> Apparel.com. <laughs> Apparel.com. <laughs> it was a good try. It was a good try. <laughs> oh, there we go. Those little clips. Clips, yeah, exactly. Those are the those are the fun ones to break. Should we just start pushing? Well, she's on there on there. I think there's tape on there. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe. No, they're just gnarly clips. I wonder if they just like locks in and then just it the top part. It could be. Hopefully that's how they designed it, because this would suck. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Oh, it looks like, you probably can't see it on camera. There's another whole set of clips on the back side there. So there's a center support in the tailgate, which is right there, that prevents us from getting to the back side. Maybe it's one of those, like, it's disposable clips, you gotta break them. We might wanna wait until we get a body panel tool, though, so we can pop, 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 pop. Yeah, right there, boom, boom, yeah. boom. Just as many clips. Mm -hmm. We'll have to and grab a body panel be, tool from the shop. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a long one. Yeah. It. That stays on for now. Yeah. The parts ain't going for a couple days anyway. Then we gotta figure out how to get that off. Well, if nothing more happened today, um, we definitely made the driveway over here look like it's either been robbed or we're running a chop shop. But everything is stripped other than that tailgate plate. We gotta get the body panel tools to get that off. Tahoe sitting up on jack stands. Again, hopefully we'll get those wheels very soon. So this thing could be just done. I'm ready for this one to be done. It's been sitting for way too long. And the Tahoe wheels are loaded up in the truck. So we're gonna run to the shop, meet the guy that's buying those, as well as meet our customers that are bringing over their 2021. So I believe the guy is here already to pick up the Tahoe wheels. What was it, an eight, nine hour drive for you? Uh, I made it in five. Dude! I made it in five. Yeah. The old Chevy was hauling, huh? Dude, hell yeah. <laughs> you brought the- I, I thought I was selling you the 26s. Oh, shit. Oh sh yeah. All right, y'all, so I done screwed up big time and I feel horrible for it. Apparently Ivan was driving down for the stock Tahoe wheels, which those sold like a month or two ago. I somehow completely missed that in his DMs. I felt so bad. We gave him a bunch of work for it swag. I didn't have a ton of cash on me, but I gave him some money for some fuel and uh, hopefully go buy himself a nice lunch or dinner. He hung out with us in the shop for a little while. Again, Ivan, if you're watching this brother, I completely apologize that we had the mix up on which wheel and tire setup we were talking about. What are we doing, Sergio? Ooh. Look on the rear. Dang. All right, all right, all right. It's like a new work vehicle. Yeah, it's uh, construction. Oh, he really is construction. Yeah. He's got his tools hanging on there. <laughs> looks like. That's a... Smoker, the smoker. All right. Yeah, look how we have to do. Dude, that's one whole giant piece. <laughs> Good lord, this bumper is massive. The issue now is it takes longer than normally. To mount because, all yeah. lights and stuff on new vehicles. Yep, yep. So instead of just pulling the grill off and a few screws and clips and that's it, nope, we have to hold Well, even the new like GM 1500s, it's all like one integrated piece. Yeah. Oh, we even got some nice foam back there. Yeah, right. yeah. It's a good mounting location. I like these Tellurides though. I think these things actually look Pretty rad. I got nothing bad to say about Kias. My sister has a Kia. It's been great for years. It's been wrecked like 20 times. It's still running strong. This one looks cool. I mean, the roof rack looks cool. I'd go a little meteor tire on there, but I think it's rad. It's definitely uh, not what you would expect for a construction vehicle, but you know what? Rock it. Sergio's actually been working on a project um, that we got coming in here, which is this 2021 Denali. Yeah. Let's see if we can uh, squeeze by here. 
So this truck came into our shop to have a bunch of stuff done to it. Um, we'll go over like the big giant train horn setups that's going on this one. It's gonna be the biggest one we've ever installed. But first we got it over to Sergio's to start doing a bunch of light wiring that's going on it. So he's got some color changing rock lights in all the wheel wells. Um, I think we're going 16 total on the rock lights. We got an integrated light bar that we've done into the grill here. And then a ton of pre-wiring because, like I said, this, this train horn setup is going to be massive. The compressor setup is going to be massive. So uh, you can see Sergio's wire harness that we've got getting built over here. Um, and some of the super heavy gauge wire Ugh. right here. That's going to be running to the back to run the compressors and all that. The cool thing about having everything that we do in-house is we can have stuff pre-wired while we're waiting for Zach to do the custom fabrication. This will all be pre-wired and ready for Zach. So kind of the way we do things, it'll roll over here, get its wiring done, and then roll back to our shop and get all the fab work done. See all of Sergio's super clean work here. All the wiring. Oh, that looks sick. Those fit perfectly in there, huh? Yeah, <laughs> actually they did. That's actually really cool. I thought it was gonna cover like a few LEDs on the end. Yeah, power up the Phoenix controller. I don't know, is that the first switch? Are they on? I don't know. Oh, oh the second one. Oh. It's better than the second, second one. The one, the one on the left, right? The one below it is the faster. Oh, faster strobe? Yep. You told me the to first switch, Sergio. All right, got it. That one? Is it faster? Oh, there we go. Yep, she's faster, she's faster. I didn't even notice that one down there. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Looks good. I can't believe how perfectly those fit in the little cutouts there. So uh, I guess we took the old 26s and they're leaving the Tahoe on jack stands for no reason today. <laughs> I'm leaving those off at this point. Like, forget it. We got to get those four-wheel parts wheels on there. Like I said earlier, four-wheel parts hit me up today. They're checking to make sure or see if they actually made it to our local store here so we can get the new wheels on the Tahoe. Um, I'm going to keep the tires, obviously, because the tires are correct. We just got the bolt pattern off of an F-150, not for the uh, Chevy. So it'll be the same wheels as those. Correct bolt pattern, same tire. So I think it's going to look really cool on the Tahoe. You all right in there, buddy? What? Do you have the grab handles? Grab the grab handles. Oh, jeez. Is that it coming out of you? Bro, close that door quick, dude. No, don't air, don't blow it out here, bro. I'm gonna blow it back to you, man. Oh no, your swan fell. There you go, man. In case you guys don't know, Chris is a master of origami. What? We decorated, bro. It's your birthday today. Thank you, bro. Appreciate ha happy it. Happy birthday, buddy. Thanks, man. What are you now, like 70? Just about. Hey, man, enjoy. Have a birthday snack. All right. What should I get? Obviously, a, a creamy peanut butter snicker. Okay. You can have a, in Dedex honor, a, a pickle pop. That's disgusting. Oh. Now, we're right back to going to work here on the 6.0 because, again, we got to get that running. That way, Papa Rhino has a truck to drive while his is all torn apart. What the? I thought we were working on the uh, on 6.0 stuff. We're washing bikes? That's mine. Uh, is Zach washing it for you for your birthday? You would think. No, but no. No? no. Zach's got more important stuff. We gotta get the, the 6 like, run for Papa Rhino. I like, like how he doesn't he doesn't use my stuff on a round though. <laughs> yeah, how come you're not using Zach's spray? <laughs> Dang, bro, working this hard on your birthday, dude? Yeah, you know, someone gotta do it. Alright, alright. Um, is this one next? Oh, ho, ho! Look at this bad boy. Yeah, this thing turned out clean, bro. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. Do they tint that or is just black and everything out makes it look yeah, kind of tinted? Yeah, it's because it's so so far back in there, but it's a clear lens. It looks oh, cool. So Jesse dropped his truck off today. He is going to be getting some goodies done to it. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Uh, 2021. Don't quote me on that. Hold on, I got the key. 2020. So Jesse went ahead and had all of his custom headlights and taillights built. I believe by Fast Headlights. Custom painted the black fog lights down here. Obviously had the mirrors done, smooth painted. His custom little running lights that they do on the side here with the Denali in there and the Denali ends up lighting up white. We'll show that when we get the truck fired up here, if I remember. Recon tail lights, pulled apart, custom painted again by Fast Headlight. This truck is just super clean. Me and Jesse have been friends on Instagram since like the very beginning of me being on Instagram and like trying to get into the Instagram truck world. At the time he had a uh, 2015, don't quote me on that, uh, GMC as well that he built. So we have bounce ideas off each other. And he's actually the guy that I bought my taillights from off my 2015 Silverado before that thing got wrecked. Jesse is a very detail oriented guy, which is rad. And you guys think I made all about things? Jesse is uh, 10 times 
crazier when it comes to keeping things clean. He wants like completely saran wrapped his entire cab before he took his truck to the dealership for like an oil change or something warranty related. I'm honestly surprised that this like steering wheel isn't wrapped right now in saran wrap. So that tells you how much Jesse trusts us and keeping his truck nice and clean and well taken care of. It's been a long time since I've been in this body style of truck. Ooh, ain't gotta get used to apparently the push button parking brake there. So we're gonna move Jesse's truck right now. Zach should be finished up with the 6.0 here very shortly. And then from there, we're gonna pull Jesse's truck in. We're gonna be pulling the black GMC in because Zach has a very busy weekend ahead of him putting a lot of cool stuff on these trucks. I do gotta say, I like the 360 camera that these things have on them. Very nice, very nice. So we got the black Denali out of Sergio's shop. That's gonna be going in our shop. The RGB rock lights are lit up right now. They're just in like the test color cycle going through there. Oh, we got instructions? Yeah, yeah you have oh, to download the app. Sync the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh filter for this thing? Yeah, she is. Damn. Well, you know when, you know, he takes the filter out and doesn't put a new one in. Oh, there was never a filter in it? <laughs> I opened the box and like... SoCal Grey Gay. Damn it, Danny. Zach, we didn't check this when we bought it. There was no filter I in there? we did, and I laughed because there wasn't one in there. But... Oh, maybe. Fresh filter for the 6.0. Uh, oh, she's gonna be happy yeah. now. She's a breather now. Right? Lid going back on. Does this mean we're this close, buddy? We're this close? I got the whole other side. Oh, we still gotta do the other side? Yeah. yeah. I just figured it finished this side. I'm gonna record this time, Zach. This is the time <laughs> it's gonna fire up. So everything's done. Yeah. We've been cranking it over, trying to get the, the, the oil. To Get enough through the engine there to where it tells itself to fire the injector because there's enough pressure in the something something with the something something and clearly we're not quite there yet. By 6 0 they said. Zachary. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> You're going to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You made me buy the 6 0. You almost took my finger off with the 6 0. Almost, okay? <laughs> almost. I didn't though. We'll probably start. Can we slam it again see if it starts? Well, you're probably going to be like, hey, go under the hood real quick and try something in like the. Freaking no, fan's gonna take my finger you're off. No, you're not allowed anywhere near under there anymore. I am okay with that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when you're around the trucks, put a put your hand in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> we need more juice. Uh. There's a keeper in the cold out back. Bye guys. <laughs> uh, no soliciting. Second the camera goes off, the truck fires up. Always. 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 Sounds great, Zach. Ladies and gentlemen, the 6.0 is back in alive. I'm back in, Zach. It's a great purchase, buddy. Right? Jeez. I try to tell you. Oh, we got that loaf. We got that loaf. Oh. All right, guy, all right, guy, all right, guy. Take it easy on this thing. She's not studied yet. Now we're going to do the truck shuffle here. So 6.0 is going to be going to Papa Rhino. I'm going to let him drive that while we tear the 450 apart or before we get the parts back for the 450, whatever. So we're going to pull that out. Get the two beautiful Denali's in the shop that's actually going to be working on this weekend. Oh, let's move this one. Again, love the 360 camera. But these mirrors <laughs> with this tint are absolutely useless at night. Let's see, we'll turn on the, the cargo light which is one of these maybe is it up here now i don't really know where it's at in these on off that's all the lights huh if i was a cargo light which one would i be maybe it's over here now there it is there we go so that lights up the mirror lights which again with this dark of a tent oh, she'll turn the lights off inside here yeah, you can't even see those mirrors. Listen, I love tinted windows in the daytime, but I can't go super dark, because at night, it just makes your mirrors and everything else useless. I guess things only got 69 hours on the engine, 1,400 miles. The other truck that's here, it only has, I think, 5,000 miles on it. Got some freshies. The old 6 is gonna be back alive and on the streets. And hopefully, starts easier, because that was the whole point of fixing the issue that was on it. Now, I honestly thought I was gonna be running this thing into like my work fleet real quick, but again, it's gonna be going to Paparano, which is actually good because it's gonna get like a daily driven shakedown before we actually start towing trailers and excavators and stuff with it. Thanks, son. Listen to that power. All right, while he's gone, we'll pull in one of the Denali's here. These 360 cameras come in super handy when you're squeezing through the shop here with all the stuff on the sides. 
Look at that. We know we got plenty of room, whereas from this angle, a little hard to tell. One thing I don't like though, is these digital rear view mirrors. I like seeing like the seats in like real time, like you can change the angle based on how you're looking. This, I don't know if I'm gonna get used to when I actually own a vehicle that has that setup. Well, Zach's gone, you know, as a junior mechanic here, I gotta rise up on the ranks. So getting the floors clean a little bit here from the mess the 6 -0 made. Uh, what's the verdict, doctor? I'm just glad to get to 10. Oh. Okay. Make sure she's nice and warm when we pull her in, and if she goes, fire it back up, problem fit. This one's even worse. So that was the passenger side dummy plug? Yeah. So, yeah, that's a big, big, big leak. Gotcha. No wonder she didn't want to start cold. We are cramming them in tight over here to make things fit. Oh, hold on, let me find Jesse's keys here and show you guys his super sweet Denali lights on the side right there. Those look super, super clean. I know on camera they're a little blurrier, but in person these things are like super super crisp oh show up there you go look at that beautiful uh, jesse's truck's a long bed the uh six o's a long bed we can get three short bed trucks in here no problem long beds gets a little sketchy come on in buddy come on in hey yeah we might be able to get this closed hold on oh baby we just made it y'all good six o's good no one truth right here uh-oh I didn't want to turn it off out there and have it not start. <laughs> we waited. All right, let's see if she fires up. All right, we'll take that. We'll take it's that. Price to I so 20 pounds blows the boost tube off. It's clamps on. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't. I don't know if you heard that. I'm like, oh, Ryan probably heard that. I got got on it right here. So it's <laughs> like, So Zach robbed one of the clamps for his truck. Yeah. Just the nut. The clamps there. So oh. It, and, and in stealing the clamp off my truck is when he slammed the hood on my finger. Same time, same time. Two for one. <laughs> well, I'm excited. We got a bunch of cool projects in here. Plus, again, finally getting that 450 project started. Plus, the 6.0 is up and running. And hopefully, the Tahoe wheels end up here soon. Again, Ivan, sorry. Sorry for that, buddy. And I have parts on order for my truck. For everybody that wonders why Zach's truck is always so beat up and, like, half running, it's because... Customers first. Yeah, man. And, and that's usually how it ends up. Wasting money on my truck doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> so, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it because of the best. I'm out. I roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.